bit more dialogue, Byron and Max. You know the contracts are on the on the table. Steve has told us about that. Have you got any updates on them? You're pretty close to Byron. No, um, the offers have been made. We're we're awaiting a response uh, with bated breath, I might add, on on both of them. I think they're both players that we'd uh, love to keep at our club. Uh, they've been here a long time. They're still going the right way. That's why we want to keep them here. And uh, yeah, we, we'd uh, we'll be a better team with them in it than than not. A goalkeeping situation. Where are you with that one? Well, that's changed over the last few weeks uh, with with Steve Phillips departing. Um, the question was, should we sign another young goalkeeper and bring in a coach to work with them? Or should we bring in a more experienced keeper that's willing to coach? I think Steve, at this moment in time, will go down that path. We'll, uh, we, we have identified uh, three or four that, that might uh, take that role on. So I think next week we'll be sitting down with uh, two or three names and hopefully solving that one quite quickly. Just a final one, JJ, did you get anything sorted out with him? No, no, uh, we're still working on that. Uh, JJ's a type of player that we, we do sign at, at Crew. Uh, the John Guthrie's and the Luke Varney's and they're, they're not the best in the non-league, but they're the best that we can get from the non-league. Uh, um, there's always room for uh, for a player with that profile at crew. So uh, we w we will do something on that in the next week or so. He's on holiday at the moment, but we're due to speak to him when he comes back, and uh, hopefully we can sort something out with him.